Hi everyone, it's Sarah with House Copper. We are actually gonna be in my house today, um, here in Wisconsin, and we're gonna be doing an experiment on cookie sheets. So it's baking in copper, not making copper, fixing copper, or cooking in copper, but baking in copper. And it's winter, we're coming up on Valentine's Day, and I happen to have some leftover cookie dough that is my great, great grandmother? I think, or great-grandmother. It's a family recipe that is a cutout cookie recipe that has nutmeg and sour cream and all kinds of really good ingredients in it, which um, is in my book, Copper, Iron, and Clay, but also I will, um, I believe, be able to f post the recipe down below. It's really good. It's kind of one of those fail-proof cookie recipes that's pretty easy to put together as long as you can read. But I have a little bit left over and we're gonna do an experiment on the different kinds of uh, cookie sheets out there. So the standard ones are aluminum. They're kind of an air bake nonstick. And then mine, which I build, which are a tin lined copper cookie sheet. I believe I'm the only one in ever, anywhere? that's making tin line copper cookie sheets, but I happened to use them this winter and I was super um, thrilled, you know, cause I sold all the rest, but I got to use my own. Um, and I was kind of excited about the differences in the way the cookies turned out. Um, a lot has to do with thermal conductivity and distribution of heat, but you'll notice just how the cookie batter, um, cause I'm gonna do one cookie on each sheet just so we can see the differences both in how they bake, what they look like underneath, the consistency of the heat distribution and how that affects baking. Because that makes a difference whether you're making focaccia or uh, pizza or special cookies or macaroons or whatever you're gonna bake with, it's nice to know the differences in how heat distribution in baking sheets of different kinds of metals affect your baking. So I'm gonna set the oven at 350, which is what the recipe requires. And then I'm going to individually put in each copper, well, in copper, each cookie sheet in for the allotted nine minutes that the recipe requires. And we will take a look at all the different renditions of the exact same batter um, that uh, we're gonna use for this experiment. So let's go play in the oven. there is a difference in each of the cookies based on what they are baking on. The aluminum to me personally, I don't like the, the at all. Uh, there's discoloration on the bottom and the whole cookie just kind of spreads the way that the heat and the cookie interact. Um, it almost loses its shape completely. Um, the air baked nonstick is fine. The bottom bakes a little darker. And to me, the fact that the tin line copper cookie sheet uh, allows for absolute no discoloration, which means complete even heat distribution. Um, it was a shock to me. Um, 
the first time I did this with, with Christmas cookies and I'm excited to share it with you now just to show you the differences in all the kinds of baking sheets out there. So if you have any thoughts or comments or ideas or your own experiments, please share them below. I'd love to hear them and I know everybody else does too because sharing is caring. Uh, anyway, thank you again for finding me. Don't forget to check out the live Q and A's and the in-person workshops in the links below, um, as well as finding me on all the social sites and don't forget to subscribe and share the love, but, uh, otherwise have a great rest of your week and I will see you next time here at the, uh, house copper YouTube page channel thing. <laughs>